So Egypt for tourists and Egypt for someone who comes to live here, of course, it's very, very different. Um, the tourists go to the main places that has been written down in their tour guides. Uh, they go and visit the pyramids. They go and visit the clean places uh, to eat because they don't want to get sick. Also, for example, I was talking to uh, my cousin. My cousin really would want to come and visit me. Her boyfriend, though, because the Sinai is totally restricted red area um, and because of the ISIS attacks, he doesn't want to come. Although I feel totally safe in this country. I mean, with one of my friends, we drive. I, I even drove myself from Dahab back to Cairo. Me as a woman driving a car while my friends were sleeping and really nothing happened. But it's partially the media who makes this country quite a dangerous place. I mean, something can happen everywhere. Look at London. Um, other differences is that um, for me, I really live this country. I have lots of friends, uh, Egyptian friends. For me, the prices are... I already check about prices. For, for example, when I go to the pyramids, uh, I know how to bargain with the people there. Foreigners still think it's very cheap if they, if they have to pay in euro or something like that. I mean, the price for a tourist or the price for someone who lives there is really, really different. For example, when you, cook, when you come to the airport and someone helps you with your suitcases, the people there expect already like five euros as a tip. I mean.